All right, guys. We are right where we left off at. Um, so let's run it up. Run it back. Continue looking for the, the few items that we need here. We've yet to find the sodium hypochlorite. And that, I think that's the last thing we're looking for here. So I'm going to keep this out. Oh, there's a scroll right there. I'm going to dodge you real quick. Oh, this... Well, if we would have went through that door, then it would have led us, like, directly to him. Well, that wasn't the intended outcome. That's some good damage right there. That was actually decent damage. Dude, I'm so worried we're going to run into some large-scale enemy. And I'm going to be f freaking out. What? Where'd you just come from? Yo! Chill! This guy's different. This guy's very different. There's two of them. I'm confused. What's... What's... He has like a, a, a double that attacks after him. Interesting. Wait, there's... Yeah, he's like a... What is going on here? This is a little confusing. Oh, man. This is like a, this is like a legit boss fight. We're going to have to... Oh, yo! We can't... Oh, we can't... We can't use our heal ability. We have to, like, dodge these a lot. Interesting. Kind of getting an idea of how he's attacking here. We're going to want to dodge that. Regain our stamina here. We can't use our own blood. Oh, easy. Get this thing reloaded real quick. Yo! Yo! Ouch! Yo! Shoot, dude. This guy's tough. Which one's easier to kill? Oh, he's he's regening. Oh, he's regening. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, ouch. Yo, dude, we're so weak. Okay, we need to hit the main body. Oh, yo, yo, yo. We're weak. We're weak. We're going to die here. There's no doubt. Uh. Uh. Rip. That was not what I expected to walk into. That's an interesting fight. Okay, let's run it back. You have been killed. You will find there is very little that can kill a vampire, my friend. You have been offered a relative immortality. Yeah, well, the only thing that can kill a vampire is an OP scroll, apparently. That was unfortunate. I didn't think we were going to die at any point in this game, but, uh, or at least not until later, but. I guess we're roughly, what, two hours? Almost two, a little over two hours in now? Or close to two hours in. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, the old mark. Alright, let's run it back. What? What is this save point? How far back is this? What do you mean, dude? This is a joke, man. Dude, this is so far back. Right? Or is it not that far back? It's not crazy far back. <laughs> you thought, boys. Dog. I haven't been able to take their blood. Should our offhand weapon be the stake? We're like half dead already. Dang it, dude. Hold on, I think our offhand weapon needs to be the stake. Because then we can stun enemies easier, I think. Relatively easier. Okay, this could this could that could work a little bit better for us. So we use the list and we should be able to grab blood from people. Alright, cool. 
That listing should help a lot. Dude, what a joke, man. Traces of a pinkish foam. I, we didn't get to do this before. Lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? <sighs> We did not get to do this before. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. As if someone was eating on Multiple it. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Okay. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Interesting. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Interesting. Learned a little bit more about Tippett. It's locked, all right. Alright, so we're gonna try and gather blood from this guy in front of us, and then once we go into this fight, then we should be able to do a little bit more. It's not a lot of blood gain at all. I mean, it's better than nothing. Definitely, definitely better than nothing. If we can get full blood here, that'd be <clears throat> that'd be ideal. Even if it's doing minor damage, it's fine. That's like half blood right there, that's good. That's more than enough to go into this fight. Cool. Alright. So here's a big big boss. He's gonna appear. Yo, don't want to be trapped in the corner with you, that's for sure. What do you mean? Do you have resistance to range attacks at all? Interesting. I'm trying to figure out how it's the best way to operate this boss fight. It's interesting because he's tough. He's a, definitely a tough enemy here. We're doing good damage here, though. I need to, I want to try and use our special attack on him. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, oh. Woo! Dude, what is that range? There we go. One more hit and he should be dead. Or one or two more hits. Yo! Oh, we just phased right through him. Okay. Right there. That should kill him. Nice. These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. <laughs> I feel you, dude. Cool. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Okay. Took care of that guy. So, the, so the, we know that we need to genuinely be going into pretty much every area with at least a decent amount of blood to work with because we definitely definitely could not survive that last time so it makes kind of makes sense um how that how that worked out you have enough components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue i am not going to waste the stuff that we have because i'm pretty sure we need it uh generally so go ahead and not do that i still hear scrawls That was cool though. I actually and I enjoyed that boss fight, even though it wasn't betrayed as that in any sense. See now this is getting us blood, and I'm sure we'll find weapons that give us much more blood than than that. But right now we're we're fine. We can it's like farming. You gotta farm a little blood to get a little further, you know? I can deal with that. Except for we gotta try and avoid taking damage. We're just kind of taking hits, which is kind of defeating the purpose of getting blood and stuff, you know? 
Let me just stop doing that. So, work in progress, for sure. I love this ability, dude. I, I hope we get a chance to upgrade our stamina so we can just kind of skate around, but... That is, like, imagine being able to do that in real life. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking when I do that. I'm like, dang, what if we could do that in real life? Mmm. Mmm, Ah, okay, that was fun, though. That was fun. Our first boss fight, I mean, obviously we failed the first time, but, uh, can't be successful every time, you know? can't be successful every time we learned quickly that we need to continuously keep that blood on us so also that was like a level seven enemy or like level one just just putting that one out there just putting it out there Just putting it out there. All right, Pembroke Hospital. Okay, back to it. So we can get all this stuff. Craft the treatment. Oh, oh, we we're actually supposed to craft the treatment for fatigue. Cool. I thought we weren't supposed to, but uh, looks like that that was our main objective here. So we'll see. If we need to go upstairs. We can actually go back to our office. I'm assuming. Second floor, this back hand, right hand, is this the right hand side? Yeah, definitely. So our office should be right back here. Cool. Getting used to where, where to go, which is important. Go ahead and craft it. I guess I could have crafted it in there. I just didn't realize that that was, uh, that was what we were, what we were looking for there. So, definitely just crafted that. Treatment for pneumonia, bronchitis. Interesting. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Definitely just did that like three times. The flower's dying. It needs water. Who cares about the water? Oh, we just. Oh, that's what we need to do. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Cool. I was supposed to actually be frustrated, but that's gonna tell us to uh, do something again. Guess we gotta go downstairs. I wonder if this place could be like invaded, you know, like attacked. That'd be cool. That'd be sick. Downstairs. And then. Okay, you're. Mm, that blood. Uh, medicine to Dorothy. Unknown, unknown, Dorothy, 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 we got Dorothy, where'd she go? Oh, is this you? Not to Gwyneth then. Where'd you go? All these people say they're unknown. We know Dorothy, so we shouldn't have to. When we look at her, she, she, should, she should pop up for us. Oh, Dorothy, hi. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Cool. Alright, diseases decrease the blood quality of citizens and use the correct medicine to heal them. Uh, speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Get out of the way, Dorothy! Are you the patient? Sit down on the bed! What are you guys rolling around for? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. 
Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Um... Personal questions, your life in London. Your life in London, personal questions. Okay, we gotta get a hint first. <laughs> uh, how painful is your throat? How painful is your throat? <laughs> your throat hurt? So painful, I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Yeah, well, I'm gonna make you talk, boy. I'm sure you realize a doctor <laughs> and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Um, can we ask him personal questions? Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. No, boy, you're telling me something. Tell me <laughs> about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Oh, he actually gave me a different different tone of voice there. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm trying to press the quest. wait, shoot. Dang it, we need that we How need that painful chain. is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. Okay, well he doesn't want to talk. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Your life in London, personal questions. Okay, we need a hint for everything. Ah! What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer, and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you that rich? What are you doing in your life? Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Okay, cool. What do you think uh, I don't like this question here. Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially nice. welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. I don't think that's the case, but, uh, you know, whatever. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you? I share your stupor. <laughs> she charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your stupor. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. You're right. I agree. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Okay, now I should be able to talk to your son and get some more information. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. That was interesting. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. What do you mean, brother? Talk to me. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. You're in good hands. Is your mother bothering you? Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. 
It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Interesting. Your mother's kind of sketchy. Why did your mother have you no, hospitalized I don't want... <laughs> here? She seems convinced this. this is a bad I, hospital. I'm not, I don't my hate it. just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. I can't say that I hate it. I just don't... I'm not a fan of how they handle it. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Okay, whatever. Okay, so he's not going to give us any more information. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Okay, I want to give it one more crack at his mother. Because I think his mother... Oh, actually, they're actually telling me to talk to Edgar. Okay, so we've learned enough information through them then. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure to leave a like, sub up, share around. Again, this game's pretty fun so far. Again, still learning stuff, boss fights, stuff like that, picking up weapons. Obviously, early in the game, I think this game is roughly eight hours of gameplay. So, yeah, we got a long ways to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, sub up, share around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.